All right, in this example, it reads, if the density of copper is 8.92 grams per cubic centimeter, which, by the way, this is the same thing as cc's, how many grams are in 28 cubic centimeters of copper? One thing I will notice about this problem is that it looks like there are two givens. It looks like one of the givens is 8.92 grams per cubic centimeter, and it also looks like 28 centimeters cubed is a given as well. So what we can do is we are going to choose one to be the given. Do you notice how this is a single unit and this is a combo unit? I call it a combo unit because um, there's a G forward slash cubic centimeter. This unit is a combination of two different units. As a rule of thumb, a non-combo unit should um, be the given, and your combo units will serve as ratios. Let me show you what I mean. For the given, I'm going to choose the 28 cubic centimeters because it is not a combo unit. I want grams, how many grams, and then I'm going to take this 8.92 grams and I'm going to split it using that forward slash as a colon. So now I've created a ratio. All densities mean, this just means um, for every cubic centimeter of copper, there's 8.92 grams or 8.92 grams of copper in a cubic centimeter. So it's just a ratio. Now we can start the problem the same way we always have with the given over one. I'm going to use this unit of the cubic centimeter to cancel out diagonally. So here's my cubic centimeter going to cancel out diagonally, and I'll put the 8.92 grams in the numerator. Now that the centimeters cube cancel out, leaving me with the grams, that's what I wanted. So I know I did the problem right. I can multiply across the top 28 times 8.92 to give me 249.76. I can make sure my units cancel diagonally, leaving me with grams. There's my unit for grams. And then for the icing on the cake, I'm going to make sure my answer has how many sig figs? Two. And I count one, two. That four rounds up to a five because um, it's sitting next to a nine. And I'm not just going to write down 25 as my final answer. I'm going to write down 250. 250, no decimal, because I want to make sure that it shows two significant figures in my final answer.